All right, man. Sketchpad Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So today we're going to be reacting to a camera I said about black America and black Americans. And we'll be back. Who raised you? bar was crazy oh my god uh, children are too young to make those type of choices for themselves you know that's why they have parents oh you need each other what yo i can't, can't understand it neither all right yeah man we back hey man listen cash app in the description links in the description you want to donate if you don't want to donate you know what i mean you can always just share the video Tell your friends to, uh, you know, subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell. And, yeah. So, let's get right into the video. And then we're going to come back and give out uh, oh, I'll take. Let's go. Looking at my license, it doesn't have a um, color on it, though. It doesn't. Because your face is the color now. What what, what uh, year did mm. you get your license? Um. <laughs> I don't know. Different states have different what stuff. Year? We don't even got to go into the license. When you go fill out a test when you're in school and they ask you this, that, and the third, this, that. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be totally honest with you. And I know we got to get back to our topics. We already a few minutes in. Um, I'd rather fill in black than African-American. Because I, I, Africans don't even fuck with us. Wow. Because they don't. And Americans do? Well, you're American, Mace. You're, you're born in America. When you go to the Olympics... And when I say yeah. African American, you go over there, they call us Yankees and all that. They f with us, but they they we're not we're not from the motherland. We're from the Amer we're from America. So I rather say I'm a black American. When we go to the Olympics as a country, and somebody mm -hmm. black is fighting from the United States, you don't say African American, mm -hmm. you say American. You don't even put a color on it. It's an American fighter yeah. fighting a European fighter or China China or uh, Japanese That's or good. anything. You, you're you known in the Olympics as an American. It doesn't matter what color you are. You're an American fighting against somebody from Cameroon or um, Senegal, whatever. The point being is they don't categorize it when it's world competition, but when it's other shit, it needs to be categorized. So I consider myself a black American. I don't consider myself African American and shout out to all my in Africa, much love, but y'all don't consider us real Africans. Y'all don't. It's funny that we having this discussion, right? Because I literally had this discussion earlier this morning with my people's Nico. Shout out to Nico, baby boy, 120, Village Bridge. We literally had this discussion and we were speaking about culture and we were speaking about identification and things like that. And we literally said that although, although like a lot of people identify themselves as African American, technically, if you are born in the United States, you're American and it's true. And then at the same time too, people like me who are half and half, I'm more American than anything because I was born in the States, mm -hmm. even though I have an actual heritage in Nigeria through my mother. Nine times out of 10, when I go to Nigeria and visit Nigeria, they always are going to look at me as an American. I can never be identified as a Nigerian American. I'm going to be identified as American. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. Regardless, regardless of my mother's village, my heritage, even me speaking my mother's native language, I'm still going to be identified as an American. My children, the same thing. You understand? I could, you know, I could go into so much detail, but he's right. 
And after I realized it, it's a hard pill to swallow, but it's true. It's true. And when he said, when he said, uh, when he spoke of, you know, um, other native countries, African countries, not really banging with, you know what I mean? Black, black Americans, it's true. It's true. Majority of them don't. Now, there are ones that do, but the good majority of them don't. Trust me, I know. You know what I'm saying? But because they always, the thing is, they always look at, they always look at the Americans, the black African and black, black Americans as lazy. That's what I've heard. I've heard things of, we don't take advantage of our education. We don't take advantage of this. We don't take advantage of that. So where it boils down to, they feel as if like we should be taking advantage of all these things that we have surrounding us and not allowing people like them to come in and seek the opportunity. So that's what was told to me, literally told to me. You know what I'm saying? Now, as far as me being liked, I could be one of the selective few, you know what I'm saying? But that's only, I feel like that's only because of my heritage. I feel like if it was just straight American, I probably, I probably be in the same bracket as most people. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't want to go put things out there that's not true, but yeah, it's he's right. He's a hundred percent right. Um, it's a couple of things I want to touch on what you said. Uh, and not to disagree, just just some things. Yeah, uh, I didn't really not touch on, but I'm just gonna say some of the things. So you said you said that uh, yeah. one of the reasons why is because they look at us as lazy, and um, mm-hmm. we we don't take advantage of the opportunities that we have here. So here's mm-hmm. my thing. The United States, the reason why to me why it's the greatest country in the world is because you can be lazy and still be a millionaire. That's just the bottom line. You could do things. You could it, it, it with the United States. It's a hundred thousand ways to skin a cat. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You could you could start a business. I'm not saying you can't do it in, in in Africa or no other countries, but the opportunities that most of us have here allows us to be lazy some people don't start their life until they about 45 years old yeah you know what i'm saying so so with that being said um he's absolutely right the world doesn't look as look at us as african americans they look at us as, as americans mm-hmm. the people can say whatever they want but that ideology comes from america and it comes from americans the separation of people comes from America. People get offended when you say, I'm not African-American, I'm American. They say, well, how could you say that? You, you're you from Africa. But first of all, we all know we all from Africa. So if we all from Africa, shouldn't white people be called uh, Caucasian Americans, uh, 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 African Caucasian Americans, or whatever you want to call it? But no, they're not. They're called Americans. I got something else. They're not from America, though. Right? Yeah. Why are they called Americans? You know what I'm saying? The same thing. When you come, when you talk about Hispanics, why why do they call them Hispanic Americans? Why do they have to label other people who are non-white as something American when white people wasn't born here either? They're not from America either. So, and I'm not ragging on white people. I'm just saying we are all Americans, period. If you could say, well, he's American with African descent. Yes, you could say that because mm-hmm. you say the same thing about white people when you say, yeah, he's American, but he's Irish descent or he's European descent. You know what I'm saying? You could say that. But my thing is, I've been stopping referring myself to as African American. Am I am I am I am my ancestors from Africa? Of course. 
But am I going to prefer myself as African? No, I've never even been there. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. At least in, 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 in the way where uh, I, I know where I'm from. And are you going to call, like I said, are you going to call white people who, who are born in Africa and come to America? Are you going to call them African-Americans too? I don't think so. Even though that's Elon Musk. You get what I'm saying? So my thing is like, the thing is like, Cameron is saying exactly what need to be said. I think the reason why Omar got offended is because Omar is Mr. Black. Everything's black. Black, 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 black. Everything's black. Everything's black, which is fine. That's cool. But you got to understand it's things that come with that when everything's black. When everything's black, some people ain't gonna appreciate it. Some people are. People are just humans, man. Yeah. So this is what it is. Yeah. Um. And and it's crazy because like this this particular topic has been floating around the internet for some time. Um, a comedian I forgot his name. He's African, but he's African American just like me. I forgot his name, Michael and he's Blackson. Nigerian. Huh? Is it Michael Blackson? Not Michael Blackson. Michael Blackson's actually from Ghana. He's not even, he's he's not American. He's actually f- straight from Ghana. He's another, he's another uh African American comedian. And uh, but his roots is from Nigeria, just like mine's. But I forgot his name. And I watched a video with him on TikTok, and he said the exact same thing that we're saying right now, exactly word for word. I forgot his name. Once I find his name, I'm going, uh, I'm going to message you, but yeah. in closing, huh? No, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. In closing, I'm just, you know, I'm just saying like, you know, it was, it was very hard for me to, you know, very hard for me to adjust to that. But when it was explained to me, I got it, you know, but I always would love my 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 heritage, my uh my 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 culture, you know what I'm saying? I always would love it, and I always would love, you know what I'm saying, my roots. Period. But it's true, you know what I'm saying? Um, it don't matter if I lived in Nigeria for like ten years, I would never be accepted to that extent. Because trust me, there is Americans in Nigeria. There is. They got a lot of businesses. There's. Japanese Japanese people in Nigeria. There's a hell of a lot of Europeans in Nigeria. You know what I'm saying? So I would never be accepted to that extent. You know what I'm saying? I, and if I am accepted, I'm only accepted through my through my bloodline. You mm. know what I'm saying? But that's as far as it goes. You know what I'm saying? If I just come down there raw and just that's it, nah, it wasn't even. Now, and and I could say the same thing for here. Like, I, you you're more you're more susceptible to be accepted in America actually than these other countries, because mm-hmm. America is a melting pot. It's basically what it is. Um, I will say this, and this is what I want to ask the people in the comments. Um, and this is what we're gonna title the the uh this episode. Should the African part be dropped from African American from Black people? Should we just say that we are black Americans or should we just say we're American, but should the African part be dropped? Should actually, should all the labels from other countries be dropped? Asian American, uh, 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 what's that? Whatever else you can think of. But the Mm -hmm. question is, and it's because the topic is about black people. So should the African part be dropped from African American? Should we just call ourselves Americans? And I think that that's what we should, we're going to name this episode. And we're going to put a poll up and see what people think. Because it's important. I think that I think that the label African should be dropped. If you were born in America, you should just be called American. Simple as that. And somebody, if it's, clearly they can see that you're African descent. So, <laughs> so that's how I look at it. But either way, man, we out of here, man. It's a great episode. It means catch bad. See y'all. Peace. Bye.